are real stories. You know, that, that somehow these things have to become very, very human to people. And on massive levels, how you make something human, you know, it's easier to make something human when, you know, somebody dies in Minnesota. You know, if they died in Minnesota, you know, or if they, you know, if, if the personhood bill passed in Mississippi and somebody was denied IVF and you could point to that person, that, those kinds of things actually happen, then, 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 then it grabs people. Or, you know, obviously all of us would point to the kind of work that Nick Kristof does, which only reaches a certain level of population. Or when care, when, you know, Helene Gale, whom I'm sure wasn't overly pleased, traveled with Michael Gerson, you know, a conservative who then came back and said, family planning, it's real. I saw it. It's real. They need it. Those, you know, those are the kinds of things that begin to shift values. The other thing is that, that you know, we have to talk to people. I'm talking about value frames. We have to talk to people who disagree with us. We can't just talk to ourselves. We have got to engage and find ways to educate without preaching people who disagree with us who have power. They will have more influence than any one of us will have on the rest of the people who disagree with us. Krishna. Just one, uh, one point that I'd like you to comment on and then one observation that uh, I found somewhat interesting. When we talk to European donors, their message is very clear. It's a right space to approach. Even right. in countries that have recently seen uh, right-wing governments come into power, or mm -hmm. governments leaning to the right. How much of this debate and this tension that you describe you think is US-centric, and what risk does the US run in having this kind of debate and in moving toward a more conservative stance in isolating itself from a more global discourse? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I actually don't even think that the United States recognizes, I mean, that uh, uh, you know, I, I think there's much more rights-based talk. I, I think there's a fair amount of rights-based talk in the U.S. So I, I don't think that the U.S. is out there thinking conceptually that you know rights-based stuff is not the way to go. Um, so I don't think that there's really that that much difference in a certain sense. Although you know here, you know because because of the at attacks from the right wing, mm -hmm. there's much more of a sense of. We, we, we need a public health approach than, rather than we need a, a rights-based approach. Um, I, I, see, I think that some things are language-driven and that if you get rid of the, if you, if you don't pay too much attention to the words, but do the work that's behind the words, you're ultimately better off. So, I mean, I wouldn't, you know, I think what the European donors are calling a rights-based approach, if you look at the content and talk about the content, but not present that content as my right, you know, that you, 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 you'll just go, you'll get, get further. But the things that they're saying is are rights-based, are, you know, that we should do are the things we should do. Does that answer your question at all? It's fine. You want to pursue is, it a little? Or? Yes, I see there is a difference in, in the language, perhaps the words that I used on both sides mm -hmm. of the body. But the other thing I've been thinking about a lot is, and this would perhaps further dilute the importance of that reproductive health approach, the right space approach that you described, is with the growing non-communicable disease burden. Mm -hmm. It's going to become increasingly about any and every gender. Mm -hmm. It's not only about right. women. Right. Could we, rather than trying to grab uh, an area to pitch our wagon onto, which is outside of public health, could we look within the public health sphere and say there are these growing uh, issues, nutrition is a big one, poor maternal health is a huge contributing factor, things like that, that are very directly related to reproductive health. Uh, and we could probably work a lot more collaboratively with our partners in those fields to further our goals mm -hmm. through that work. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's I think it's it's one among many strategies and a good one. 